questions for you live from the bathroom of my very own Frozen Handles Froneo and Cronut Shop in the St. Augustine Strip Mall. I'm recording this for you so you have memory of me when I die. Or when you die. Can dead people have memories? Um, okay, I'm so off track here. No, most importantly, I am recording this because archaeologists and moribund linguists dedicate their lives to dead languages. Moribund. That's a fun word, right? Would you like me to tell you what it means? Or are you still wondering what cronut means? Cronut. A trademarked croissant donut pastry. Morbid. Death bound. Bound for death. Um, being in a state of dying, approaching death, a, a coma, a stupor, any prelude, any prelude to dying. Oops. Oh my god. Morbid. Um, much like the state of our friendship the second half of junior year. Are you okay, Joji? Mira? Leaf? Uh, Finnegan? Terry? Whatever the heck name you're hiding behind these days whenever you're not neck deep in a bottle of Everclear or whatever poison they're telling you not to drink at AA because, um, because I have an order here for Leaf Kuntlegger at 455 Elmore Ave, the same as her stepmom's place. For mint chocolate chip cookie dough froyo with peanut butter cups, strawberries, and drum roll please, graham cracker dust. Let me know a few sociopaths. Um, your real mom, my dad on the weekends, but probably the most volatile of them all, you. The person who rolled around in my bed eating graham crackers as retribution for sleeping with your prom date. Mm, very funny. Not so much now. So here is the link to the unlisted YouTube video that I'm recording for you right now because you've blocked me on basically every other social media platform. We're dead, aren't we? I think it's safe to say that we're not even molecularly the same people we were when we would traipse around the swamp-ridden streets of Gator, St. Augustine, Florida, high as a kite, eating gummy worms outside public freshman year. But a piece of you remains so deep and immovable in me that I think it's unjust not to acknowledge our entire shared piece of existence. Because that's what friendship is, right? It's just like two morbid linguists writing love letters in Sanskrit. Um, here, this is my artifact of our extinct era. Do you want to speak our, our dead language? I do. Okay, um, it's not without shame that I recall the time that we burned cigarette butts on each other's ass cheeks. Uh -huh, but it's not without regret that I recall the time that I slept with your stepbrother in the revolving doors of the photo lab at school. But most importantly, it must have been the, drum roll again, unforgettable moment when I crossed the uncrossable black line and leaned in to kiss you in a more than friendly way. Unrequited love. I must have had too many homemade fireball palomas that night when I rolled over in the dunes and married my mouth to yours that night. And in that instance, <laughs> the universe opened and closed in a singular big bang. So here's to you, Joji. Here's to us and who we never became. Here's to the nights we spoke in a language that archaeologists will never know. Ten years of estrangement, three changed names, one new address, and I hope this recording finds you well. Goodbye forever, friend. <laughs>